What's up, y'all? It's going on four days now with no AC. I got fans upstairs, downstairs. I was watching a friend's kids, and it was real embarrassing to have the AC off. Now, me by myself, I could soldier it out and be okay, but uh, seeing the kids' faces, and it's, you know, super sweaty, and I feel like a sauna in the house, but outside it's cooler. Not a good look. So let's recap what actually happened. Now, my AC unit is older. My, my home is older. Those things happen where the units fail. And I would always read online and see, you know, on social media, people's you know, AC unit going out and them complaining about how hot it is. And I'm just like, just get a box fan. Because the thought is, it's not going to happen to me. So why worry about it? And then it did. A few days ago, I went out to a yard sale and got a multimeter for unrelated thing. I'm only mentioning that to you because you probably want a multimeter. I got one for two bucks. They go for maybe 17. I showed off some of the yard sale stuff I had in another video, but I digress. The multimeter is what you need because you want to test your capacitor. What's your capacitor? It may look like this. Now, at first glance, you can't tell mine is bad. Yes, it's dirty around the edges. You don't know that it's warped, but, you know, what they can actually do is control your fan and control your compressor. This little thing is the jump start to keeping that thing on. These things can run for X number of years. Mine was last replaced in 2006, almost to the day, you know, uh, of when this thing went out. Now, I'm telling you that it went out because I've already actually fixed it now. So when I say going on day four, it was four days, I fixed it. But how did I know to fix it? I'm not a professional, but 12 hours of YouTube videos later, it seems, and it maybe wasn't 12, it was more like four. But still, I had a guy come out here to look at everything because when I got that multimeter shortly after, uh, I went to Home Depot and they had a special going on. Normally it's 50 bucks a month. They, they send somebody out here, they come do a laundry list worth of things. At least they're supposed to. And they do all that for $9. So again, my house is older, my unit is clearly older. I figured, what's the harm? Because at the time my AC was working fine, I just wanted somebody to do regular maintenance so I could learn about the system. But serendipity happened. I got that multimeter, unrelated, for something completely different to test out an electronic. And then I scheduled that appointment with Home Depot for Tuesday. AC goes out Monday. So I was really lucky that I had the multimeter and that I scheduled that appointment. Why? Because a house call would have been $95 and I had already had one scheduled for that Tuesday. So just lucky. So maybe the guy who came by, let's let this truck pass. Maybe the guy that came by thought that I was just trying to get a free inspection or something. I don't know what he was thinking, but he, he did a real piss poor job. I was really, really agitated and I'm proud of myself because I was able to yell at this company representative, not the person who actually was here, but just the representative who called a day later without cursing. I told him off. I just went medieval on him because what happened is this dude comes, he doesn't do a good job, he leaves. But he actually schedules another appointment for the following day, Wednesday. And I didn't schedule that. I was upset. I did enough research thinking I need to replace this capacitor on my own one way or the other. And I'll get somebody who's got a little bit more experience than me, if anything, to help me do it. Push come to shove, like I said. I won't name this company because I don't want to get them all in trouble. It might have just been one bad apple. And it didn't need to ruin the bunch. But this company came, they sent this guy, it's supposed to be a 9 to 11 window, that's customary for when you're getting an appliance or something serviced or turned on. 9 to 11 a.m., he doesn't show up till 12. He looks at my compressor, he says it's bad, he doesn't do any of the checks, he doesn't even check the capacitor, but tells me that it's just the compressor and quotes me at $4,200! $4,200 fix. The units themselves are $5,000, but he quotes me at $4,200 at that point it's like a mechanic telling you your car has 
$2,500 worth of repairs, but the car is only worth 2000 It just doesn't add up. You just get another one at that point. But like most people, I don't have $4,200 on me right now to go replace something like that. And uh, I wasn't in the position to claim my home warranty, you know. So, uh, what's the moral of this? Check your capacitor. Because sometimes the compressor won't be running, but it's not because it's actually dead. It's because it doesn't have enough power. My fan was coming on, so I couldn't notice the difference between the hum of the compressor and the actual fan. Most of us don't pay attention to that. You'd have to really be familiar with these units to actually listen to it. If you're hearing something all the time, you take for granted how it's, you know, going to sound differently. So test these things out. Be safe. Unplug the fuses when you do. If you do, take a screwdriver and put it in between these prongs to discharge it because if you take this thing out immediately after, you're going to die. Yeah, you're going to die. So take my word for it. If you don't want to do it yourself, get a professional because the last thing they did, they told me this thing is $325. Yeah, that's a far cry from $4,200. But if you know where to go, like a Granger, if you got a local Granger store or someplace that's got refrigeration, it's $25. I replaced this for $25. So this guy did a free courtesy visit to make up for the idiot that came to my house initially for $9. And then with $25 later, I got a new capacitor. So uh, $35, I can't really complain, but four days of my life sweating in this heat. These things always go out when you need it to last the most. And that's when there's a drastic change in temperature, like it is right now where I am in most of the country. So keep that in mind, be safe. Pay attention to your unit because uh, it's very miserable without air conditioning. You just don't feel like doing anything. I, mean, I was enjoying just sitting in my car in the AC and not being in the air conditioning unit. So I just thought I'd share that because I don't know who needs to hear it, but somebody does. See you in the next video.